The millions of Americans planning to travel this holiday weekend will likely think twice about the safety of their roads and bridges. This, of course, following that shocking scene of a bridge collapse in Washington state earlier this week that plunged drivers and their cars into the water. And as investigators look into the cause of the collapse, it's raising serious questions about the nation's infrastructure. ABC's David Curley is in Washington, D.C. with that side of the story. David. Good morning, Bianna. About one in 10 of us, nearly one in 10 of us, will be on the road this holiday weekend. And there will be concerns about bridges like this one. More than 67,000 in our country that have a designation that is concerning. Look at this, the mad dash for the Atlantic Beach for Memorial Day. Families starting the summer in the car. More than 31 million who will pay a little more for gas. And they may be thinking about these pictures of that bridge that collapsed in Washington state, sending two cars into the river below. No official cause, but a truck did hit one of the overhead steel girders. A reminder that many of our bridges are poorly rated. In fact, every day Americans make 200 million trips across what are called structurally deficient bridges. That's one out of every nine bridges, part of each of those bridges in poor condition. Is this the kind of problem you see in a lot of our bridges? We took a look at one, Washington, really D.C.'s Key Bridge, here, right? with a former government investigator. We could see some concrete ready to fall away. Structurally deficient sounds like it's going to fall down, but that's not the case. It just means that there's a defect that's being watched over time as they do their inspections. All right. The collapse of the Minneapolis Bridge nearly six years ago, which killed 13, is a case in point. The I-35 bridge was structurally deficient, but that didn't cause the collapse. It was a design flaw that finally led to failure. If the underlying uh, reinforcement steel can corrode, then you have a potential problem. Many of our bridges are old, some rusty. Despite the fact that we have an older infrastructure, if we inspect it, it's generally safe. I agree wholeheartedly. The bridges uh, don't collapse that often, especially from structural problems, corrosion or things like that. Despite that, America's civil engineers are asking that 60% more money be spent so that we can take bridges like this off that list of structurally deficient.